Good evening, I'm meteorologist Karen Williams, and it was a hot one indeed outside today. It really felt like actual heat indices were at least 103 today. Now, as you can see by the temperature trend toward the upcoming week, we are still going to be up there in those 90s, so you're definitely going to have to take it easy. Heat indices for the week we're looking at anywhere between 105 and 107 so you got to take it easy for monday and tuesday i'll have your detailed forecast coming up as the delta news at 10 weekend edition starts now news that works for you this is the delta news at 10. and right now let's switch gears and check in with Meteorologist Karen Williams for a look at the weather. Karen, is it kayaking weather out there today? <laughs> well, Tamara, if you like to be out in the sun and long as you have your sunblock, yes, it was ideal to be out there if you wanted to be on the water. Now, if you're going to be out there tomorrow, again, you want to keep yourself hydrated because it is going to be hot. Those heat indices are going to be up in the hundreds. I'll have your complete forecast coming up after the break. Welcome back and here we have our satellite radar and you can see there's a heat advisory and I think it's going to come off but again that heat advisory is going to be in effect by tomorrow and I think it's going to have most of our general area here in the Delta. There are a few persistent showers that are just below the I-20 corridor here, but we won't see those chances for showers until about Tuesday. I would say late Monday, Tuesday afternoon, that's when we'll start to see those showers and thunderstorms. Now, as we look at another view, of our radar and clouds. We have high pressure that's here in the Gulf and that is just serving as a heat pump to just give us the heat and humidity throughout the area. And we also have a few showers around the area, mainly to our south, excuse me, our north and our south. That's where we're having it there. But for the most part, we're gonna be dry for your Monday and that's when we'll start to see showers later on. Now, they keep looking at the out the door forecast, we'll have Sunny conditions, 78 degrees to start. And then by 1 p.m., it's going to be a real hot one, 94 degrees. That's going to be the air temperature, the air temperature. Now, if you're standing out in the sun, it's going to be hot, hotter than that. 7 p.m., 91 degrees. Now, as we look at our temperatures right now, it's 80 degrees right now in Greenwood. No wind stirring around. That dew point is already up there, 77 degrees. Humidity is at 90% and it feels like 86 degrees. Now for Greenville, 79 degrees. Again, no wind stirring there. That dew point at 74, humidity at 85% and that heat index, what it feels like. It feels like 81 outside. Low temperatures tonight will be in the mid to upper 70s with Carrollton and Grenada at 75. And we're looking at McGee at 76, Lake Providence at 75 and Clarksdale at 74 degrees. High temperatures tomorrow, air temperature, you're looking at Grenada 97 degrees and you tack on what it really feels like, it's going to feel like 107, 95 for Kosciuszko, 96 for Chula and 96 for Indianola. Now, as we look at our future cast, again, you start to see those clouds on Monday, a few showers, isolated showers. Then Tuesday, we have a greater chance moving in from the west and also from the south, some of which could be a little bit punchy there. So just be aware of that. And that's going to be the pattern for the rest of the week. That's typical summertime pattern for here in the Delta. And as we put our future tracker into motion, you see that high pressure system moving back, but it's still going to serve as a heat pump. And again, you see those showers along in our eastern portion of the state and then portions of Arkansas and then down to Tennessee on Tuesday, that's when we'll have the greatest chance for showers. And that's because a weak front will be moving in and that will spark some of those showers and thunderstorms. Week ahead, the rain chances each and every day, the heaviest will be on Wednesday and we keep it in for the rest of the week. 
Then the Mississippi River, the flood stage, we're looking at 29.7, and then the projection for Thursday at 28.4, and then for Yazoo, we will be at 21.1, that was the reading, and then it'll go down to 19.6, so it'll drop down better than a foot and a half. Looking at the forecast, mostly clear, 76 degrees. And then tomorrow, sunny and hot. That indice is at 107. And then looking at the, the heat tips here, again, you just want to keep yourself cool by drinking fluids and just, just forget about the exercise. It's going to be a hot one. Just be cool and wear the light clothing. And then your seven-day forecast shaping up. We have a chance for showers each and every day and those temperatures will be in the upper 90s. I wouldn't be surprised if one or two of you may see the 100 degree level.